Uh, hello, in this part, we move to some similar question done by the learn survey learners. Uh, so, uh, in this question, so because I teach all the departments, uh, a similar question can be applied to either the uh, building, civil, architecture, quantity survey, or even the land surveyors, either diploma or certificate in land. So, here is a question paper uh, found. Uh, in the engineering survey section uh, under the paper uh, by the name survey control uh, let's look at the question paper for July 2021 series under diploma in land survey uh, so that is question number 4b and it goes by the figure below shows a plane of an excavation for a building with the reduced level indicated at the four corners. The excavation with vertical sides are, are to go down to a uniform reduced level of 50 meters. Assuming that the slope of the ground is constant, use the end areas formula to calculate the volume of earth, which is to be removed. Uh, here we have been given the plan of our land which needs uh, some excavation. Uh, so the plan is a little bit easy. So there we have A, B, C, D. Uh, in the middle we have F and E. Uh, the distances have been provided. So from one end to another we have 50 meters. Uh, their interval uh, let's go ahead after studying the diagram keenly which is in plan view I want us to find the volume excavated by the use of end area formula first we find the difference in order to find the vertical heights needed to be excavated in other words we subtract the four reduced levels by 50 meter uniform reduced level uh, as told in the question paper uh, i have gone ahead and illustrated what the volumes to be excavated will look like uh, we can see there now we go back to the volume by end areas and it states that so the formula goes by v equals to l or in other books d into brackets a mean of both the two areas so area one plus area two divided by two uh, under there uh, it is correct as long as the area of the section midway between a and a2 is the mean of the two and such can be assumed to be the case as long as there is no wide variation between the successful sections and by the looks of that plan that can be true uh, as illustrated there in fe so you can observe that uh, lies in the 30 meter so that is uh, the mean of those two uh, by the by the diagram, uh, first we find the areas, and in our areas, we are going to use the formula of finding areas from the trapeziums. So there, in our trapeziums, uh, as illustrated in the diagrams, I uh, will have uh, a height of forty meters, which will be multiplied by the mean of the two distances so our first distance will be 4.5 our second distance will be 2.5 which we had obtained earlier and our first area becomes 140 meters squared the same will be done to the second area uh, where our height will be 20 meters 
so that is the interval between those two reduce level and then our sides uh, they will have a six meter and a 3.6 meters having done that our area 2 will come to 96 meters squared finally we apply our formula for the end area where our two area 140 and 96 so by the use of the formula uh, v will be equals to a so that will be area 1 plus area 2 over 2 uh, we close our brackets and we multiply by the length or the distances between those two uh, getting our answer as 7080 meters cubed uh, that will be all the same uh, pdf is provided in the link below uh, bye bye